Hi guys, welcome to the next video. And today we will be working on some calculus problems. So let me start with the first problem. You have to find the limit as x tends to 0, 3 to the power x minus 1 upon square root of x plus 1 minus 1. How to go about this question? There are four options given to us, which is the correct one. Well, uh, you can see it's 3 to the power x. So your variable is in the power. That means somewhere we will have to incorporate log, right? That will be the way to simplify this situation. But before that, what we can actually see here is that I have a square root x plus 1 minus 1. Now, as I will be putting x tends to 0, what, am I, what are we getting? This will be giving us a situation where I have 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus 1. That is, it's a 0 by 0 situation. So we definitely need to uh, simplify this question in order to get the correct answer. You must pause here and try it out yourself. The first step should be to rationalize it so that at least we can get rid of the square root in the denominator and maybe that gives us something viable. So I'm going to multiply and divide by root of x plus 1 plus 1 upon root of x plus 1 plus 1. Now what that will do is that it will give me in the denominator it will give me x plus 1 because I've just constructed a square minus b square here, minus 1 here, 1, 1 cancels. Then we have 3 to the power x minus 1 multiplied by square root of x plus 1 plus 1, right? Now, if I look at the limit as x tends to 0, you would notice that you're again getting a 0 by 0 case. It's not that this simplification has gotten us rid of the 0 by 0 case. So what to do next? Well, 3 to the power x. x is in the power. So what you can write down 3 to the power x as is e to the power log 3x minus 1 because e and log, they are entire of each other. So they're inverse of each other. So this is basically 3 to the power x only. Multiplied by again the same thing. So x root of x plus 1 plus 1 upon x. Nothing has changed. It is still 0 by 0 form. But it's just that the form that I have here is e x log 3 because it's 3 to the power x. So x can come out here. That's the property of logarithm. Minus 1 multiplied by root of x plus 1 plus 1 whole thing upon x. Now, taking the limit. Again, it's a 0 by 0 form. But what simplification I'm going to do here is I will use the series of e to the power x. So if you have e to the power something, what is the series? The series is 1 plus, it's all positive, starts with 1, that is x to the power 0 upon 0 factorial, x to the power 1 upon 1 factorial, plus x to the power 2 upon 2 factorial, plus x to the power 3 upon 3 factorial, and it keeps on going, right? So let me just apply that here. That means this bracket would turn into, this time we have x log 3 in the power. So it will give us 1 plus x log 3 plus x log 3 to the power 2 upon 2 factorial and so on and so forth minus 1. That's your first bracket now. The second bracket stays as it is. Whole thing upon x as it is. What you would observe here is that this one cancels with this one. And we have x in common from the first bracket. So x log 3 plus x log 3 
होल स्क्वायर अपॉन टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन प्लस वन होल थिंग अपॉन एक्स एंड नाउ दिस एक्स कैंसल्स विद दिस एक्स now take the limit as x tends to 0 because x and x has cancelled so i do not have a zero in the denominator and perhaps now if i just put in the value rest everything would become zero so here you will have zero and everything else will also be zero except for log 3 here and here it's going to be root of 1 plus 1 that is 2 so what you get from here is log 3 from this bracket and 2 from this bracket that is 2 log 3 which could also be seen as log 3 square which is log 9 so the answer that we get is log 9 and yes the base everywhere is e so it's the natural log base everywhere is e so it's log e 9 that is option a option a would be the correct option i hope even without my help you were able to solve it if not just go through these kind of questions as well they are kind of important from exams point of view thank you